Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Review. Today we're going to look at the local console and more specifically TurboSync for your SenseCap M1 Miner. Now you might want to use TurboSync if for whatever reason your miner has either lost sync with the, with the blockchain or it's been offline for a couple of hours or you've lost internet connection and you need to resync back to the blockchain as quickly as possible. Now you can use TurboSync to try and speed up this process because probably a lot of you know that syncing back is quite a tedious task and it can take forever as I recently found out before I obviously found out about TurboSync and it took about almost two days to resync back to the blockchain. It just took forever. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to log on to the SenseCap M1 local console and use TurboSync to hopefully speed up that process for you so you can get your miner back online and back earning that lovely HNT. So the first thing you're going to need to do is register with the SenseCap hotspot dashboard. Now, if you haven't already, a few bits of information you're gonna need off the, off the bottom of your uh, SenseCap miner, there's a, a sort of a silver sticker, get the information off that, take a photo or something like that, because you're gonna need that to register to the dashboard. Now, I'll leave a link to the dashboard where you can sort of register in the description below, so go ahead and register. Once you've done that, you wanna go ahead, ahead and log in. And what you'll be greeted is with a bit of information, um, a bit of an overview of your miners, how many you've got, how much HNT you've sort of uh, earned in the last 24 hours, seven days, over the 30 days, a bit of firmware information. Um, and once you're in there, you want to select your specific hotspot that now I've got two, I've got one at another location. And you can obviously only get to the local console if you are on the same network as it. So... One of them, obviously, I'm not going to get to from here, but I've got one at my lo location here. So if we go to your hotspots, it will list all your hotspots here. We're going to select the hotspot that I have with me. And then from this dashboard or this status screen, we've got lots of information. Now, you can see a lot blurred out here because obviously a lot of it is unique to my hotspot. And I don't want to be sort of broadcasting that out to everybody. Um, but what we're going to need are two pieces of information, the IP address of your hotspot and also the CPU ID. Now, I recommend doing this over an Ethernet connection if you can. Wi-Fi is fine, but it can take a little bit longer. Ethernet will give you a better, more stable connection. So on the right part of the screen, if you come down a little bit, you'll see CPU ID and also just above it, the IP addresses. Now I've got obviously both wireless and LAN. So we need to take a copy of our CPU ID. And then all you need to do is just click on one of the IP addresses. Now these are obviously your internal IP addresses. And that's going to pop open up another screen, which will ask you to put in the CPU ID. It's obviously I've been in it recently. So it's jumped me straight in, but it will ask you for your CPU ID. And then what you need to do is pop that CPU ID and you'll get taken to this screen here. Now, once we're in this screen, we've got sort of four commands that we can use. Now, the first one, obviously reboot. That does what it says on the tin, reboots your hotspot. The second one is shut down. Again, that just simply shuts down your hotspot. Reset blocks. And the one we're interested in today is TurboSync. Now, just a word of warning, TurboSync is not gonna work if you are less than 200 blocks um, left to sync on the, on, the, on the blockchain. So it's gonna be more than 200 blocks. Uh, otherwise, it's just not going to work. Now, all you need to do is come down to TurboSync, click TurboSync, and you're gonna get this message up here. And again, this is just gonna give you a bit of information Important, don't power off your device uh, while it's doing this. Now, this can take around 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Once you've done that, so once you've read all that and you're happy with that, click go ahead. Now, obviously, I'm synced to the blockchain. Nothing's going to happen for me, so I'll just cancel here. What you're going to get in this box here is a whole bunch of information as it's doing its job of, you know, sort of turbo syncing back to the blockchain now it's going to give you information like uh, it, you know what it's downloading um, its status and then again as i said after about 15 to 30 minutes 
it's going to, you're going to get a little message saying Turbo Sync complete. Now, as I said, there'll be lots of information, but you want to look right at the bottom, Turbo Sync complete. When it's done that, you can hop back over to the status screen. Now, this is what we're looking for now here, saying fully synced. Now, the, uh, the dashboard only syncs every five minutes, so you might have to wait five minutes before this, this change is here. So be patient, wait five minutes, keep refreshing, and then hopefully within five minutes, you will see that your M1 hotspot has synced back to the blockchain. And you'll be earning your h &T and earning some more rewards. So thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.